Are you diving into your first ever SBIR phase one application, eyeing up to $300,000 of non-dilutive funding? Exciting, right? But let's face it, it's overwhelming. I totally get it. But don't worry, I'm here to help. In this video, I'll break down the top 25 key essential steps of crafting a winning SBIR application, from framing your problem statement all the way to crafting a rigorous R&D plan. So if you're ready to turn your innovation into a fundable reality, let's jump into the 12 first key essential steps of part one of this two-part series. So make sure to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out on the second half. Number one, understanding the SBIR program phases. Knowing the difference between a phase one and a phase two isn't just about logistics. It's about setting the right expectations for your project. Phase one is all about feasibility, testing your idea's potential, while phase two dives deeper into development, scaling, and commercializing your innovation. Understanding these phases allows you to craft realistic milestones and timelines, which shows the reviewer that you know exactly how to navigate the process. For founders, this clarity will save you time and ensures your application is perfectly aligned with each phase it's designed to achieve within the SBIR program. Number two, make sure to research participating U.S. federal agencies that have SBIR programs. Not all federal agencies are created equal, and each has their own unique funding priorities and goals. Taking the time to research agencies like the NSF, the NIH, or the DOD ensures that you're aligning your innovation with the right mission. So for example, NIH focuses on healthcare breakthroughs, while NSF focuses on cutting edge technologies and engineering. So matching your project to the right agencies that share your vision will increase your chances of not only securing SBIR funding, but also finding long-term partnerships who are excited about your work. Number three, register your company early. Registrations are the easiest steps to overlook, but one of the most critical. Systems like SAM.gov or Grants.gov take time to process your information, and you don't want to be scrambling to the last minute just because your paperwork isn't complete. For founders, being proactive here eliminates unnecessary stress and allows you to focus on the parts of the application that truly matters, the research and the commercialization strategy. Four, engage with your program officers. Think about the program officers as your behind the scenes champion. These are the people who understand the agency's goals inside and out, and they can offer you some critical insights to make your SBR application stronger. Building a relationship with them not only helps tell your proposal to what the agency is looking for, but it also shows them that you are serious and committed to the whole process. And for founders, this connection can make the difference between a good proposal and a great one. Five, develop a clear problem statement. A strong problem statement is your chance to grab the reviewer's attention right out of the gate. This is where you show why your innovation matters and how it solves a real life problem. And founders should care about this because this sets the tone for the entire application. A compelling problem statement can make reviewers excited about your project even before they get to the technical details. Number six, build a rock solid project plan. A detailed project plan isn't just for the reviewers. Actually, it's your own roadmap to success. Break down your project into clear milestones and objectives. And this shows that you've thought through every single step of the R&D plan and what it takes to execute towards success. And for founders, this is a great opportunity to demonstrate your professionalism and reliability, giving SBI reviewers the confidence that you can deliver on your promises. Seven, craft a strong commercialization strategy. U.S. federal agencies aren't looking just to fund cool ideas. They want to back SBI proposals and innovations that can have a real world impact. So a solid commercialization strategy shows that you've thought beyond the research stage and know exactly how to bring your product to market. So for founders, this is your chance to prove that you're not just a scientist or engineer, but rather a visionary that can turn ideas into revenue generating solutions. Number eight, assemble an expert team. A strong team is the backbone of your SBIR project. Highlighting the skills and expertise of your key personnel shows reviewers that you have the right people in place to get the job done. For founders, this truly matters because even those with the best ideas can fail in execution if they don't have the right people in place. Your team's expertise will be an assurance to SBIR reviewers that your project is in capable hands. Nine, gather letters of support. Letters of support are testimonials for your project. They show that external stakeholders believe in your idea and are willing to vouch for its importance. For founders, these letters can demonstrate credibility that your innovation has real world demand, which can make your SBIR application stand out. 10, prepare a 
detailed budget. A budget isn't just about your numbers, but rather it's a reflection of how you plan your project out. Breaking down the direct costs, the indirect costs, and the small business fee shows reviewers that you understand the financial side of executing a successful project. So for founders, a well thought out budget not only ensures that you will get the funding, but it helps to build trust with the reviewers that you know exactly what to do with the money. 11, focus on aligning your innovation to the agency's priority. As we mentioned, agencies want to fund projects that are aligned with their goals. So showing how your innovation fits in their objectives will make it so easy for them to say yes. For founders, this alignment is your opportunity to stand out as the perfect candidate for the funding. 12, leverage available resources. SBIR agencies offer a wealth of resources to help applicants throughout the whole entire SBIR process, from webinars to guidance and assistance centers. Take advantage of these tools to ensure that your application is complete and accurate. For founders, this means fewer mistakes, less stress, and a much stronger and competitive proposal. So if you found any of these tips helpful, I would greatly appreciate if you liked this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can learn new ways to keep your equity throughout your fundraising journey. And also don't forget to check out our website at keepyourequity.co where you'll find more resources, templates, advice, and courses on how you can best secure non-dilutive funding for your startup. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the video very soon.